hello students today we are in fourth part of the corrosion and its prevention and i am your teacher sudipta nath so the mechanism of the pitting corrosion as we were discussing in the previous video that is in part 3 uh today we are going to discuss about in detail about the mechanism so what exactly is going on so over here a large cathode area and a very small micro anode area is created in case of pitting corrosion now the question is that whether they are made up of two different materials no they are not at all made up of two different materials they are made up of only single material but the thing is that due to the presence of that particular pit that is a small hole small diameter hole but it can be very narrow but very deep so any electrolyte if that enters or penetrates within that particular pit or the hole then it is very difficult for that particular electrolyte to escape out due to the surface tension okay so what exactly happen that is at that moment the small pit region that behaves like anode and the large uh, surface open surface area that behaves like cathode so there is a galvanic cell like thing that is the electrochemical reaction that starts spontaneously now if we are discussing about the factors which are influencing the pitting corrosion then definitely the alloying elements the surface finish and the heat treatment process these are the three major operating criteria which influences the rate of corrosion during the pitting corrosion process secondly the stress corrosion and season cracking we all are very familiar with the phenomena of season cracking stress corrosion also we have seen but not properly noticed yet sometimes we will find it in in case of a particular metallic bar which is already stressed at a particular region maybe at the middle maybe at one particular side at that particular stressed region the corrosion will occur at the very beginning so if we theoretically want to discuss about it so we know that it is a combined action of corrosive environment and mechanical stress so it becomes very high energized region or energy level is relatively higher than that of the surroundings so which often due to poor design or poor maintenance practice that happens okay and secondly the stress corrosion cracking or scc is intergranular cracking of metal caused by stress and corrosion now stress corrosion cracking process and the mechanism if you want to discuss about it then we know very well that there is a certain crevice or a kind of a fault which is formed maybe due to external region or maybe due to internal cause within a particular metallic surface so definitely there is a crack tip that will be produced over here and whenever any tensile force is getting applied on that particular metallic material we know very well that tensile forces are crack opening type of forces so if already there is a crack and laterally some tensile forces are being employed or applied on it so slowly but gradually there is a tendency of the crack opening that is increment of that crack okay so crack propagation will occur now due to that phenomena and high energy region the corrosion will occur and the corrosion product they will they will be deposited on the top layer of that particular free surface which is generated within the crevice or the crack and advancing crack trip 
it will it will create more and more it will produce more and more amount of that corrosion product so if you are going to discuss in detail about the mechanism then susceptible material corrosive environment and tensile stresses these are the main region these are the main reason of that particular mechanism of stress corrosion so it is a very common but undesirable phenomena in case of a particular type of corrosion mechanism how to control or how to prevent the stress uh, corrosion stress cracking corrosion or scc so to control the stress travel and hardness we have to control it avoid chemical corrosion that causes scc control the temperature modification in design that will reduce the scc etc so this is how the scc can be controlled so there are many other types of corrosion and there are prevention process so in the next video in video number 5 we will be discussing about them ok stay tuned don't go anywhere we will meet very soon thank you very much